And you know, um, one of my favorite buddies was Jack Elaine, and who just passed mm -hmm. away uh, recently. And it was funny. I, I got to do a television show with him, and he was 96, 95 when I went out to do it. He swam every single morning, and even though he he must have hit a little bit of osteoporosis in the end, I'm not sure because of his back the way it looked. Um, but you know what? He just didn't give up. And he ate this, he ate wonderful food. And the reason why he lived so long, and he died of pneumonia, by the way, um, he because he did it every day, and everybody thought he was nuts back, you know, oh, yes. back in remember. And he was like the person, and actually he is now, um, even as his as he passed away and everything, he is actually um, going to live on through his exercise program through our TELUS network from former pieces that he did. But he's a champion for those seniors and state fit seniors, which I think is a really new program, great program. And um, But tell me something, um, what tips do you have for women and men um, with osteoporosis, given that they have the new advancements in, in, in the medications that there are out there today? Well, I think the first thing is to find out whether or not you're at risk for fracture and therefore should be considering prescription medications. Right. Uh, certainly everybody can be on target for calcium, vitamin D, and exercise without even having a bone density test or today being at risk for right. Right. osteoporosis. So women at 65, men at 70, and individuals with risk factors sooner than that should have a bone density test. And certainly anybody who's had a fracture right. As an adult, uh, certainly fractures with day-to-day -day activities count. I can tell you stories. I had one patient who was lifting a gallon of milk and broke her wrist. Oh, my gosh. Another whose husband had rearranged the living room furniture under her direction but hadn't quite got the sofa in the right place, so she took her hip and tried to move the sofa, and 54 years old broke her hip. Oh, are you joking? Another patient whose power was out and she needed to run an errand, so the garage door opener didn't work. She popped the garage door safety thing, bent over to raise the garage door, heard a pop, and fell over with a spine fracture. Oh First signs God. of osteoporosis. Those patients were tested and treated, but studies show that many patients who present to the emergency room or even admitted to the hospital with fractures are not tested or treated. So. Right. Uh, Here's an example, just, and we'll, we're going to be taking a break in a second, but we'll talk about this. Um, actually, one year I had nine breaks in one year on my arm and my leg, and that was when I was in my 30s, late 30s. So it should have been a sign for me back then to get that bone density scan. It didn't happen until I went to Turkey yes. and broke my foot. So, you know, I, I think that there's a lot of people out there that, like you said, until that happens, they don't have the bone intensity scan, right? That's right. We're going to take a short break and we'll be right back on Born Before 64. For more information on our show, check out our website at www.bornbefore64.com.